Hey there, it's Brooks here from TalkingMinSnap.com, and today we're going to be learning how to save a search in Windows 7 so that we can refer to it on a later basis. So you probably know that Windows Search is a great tool for finding documents of all types, and it's, the best thing about it is it's built into Windows, at least Windows 7 and I think Windows Vista as well. But you can, if you have a group of files that you're regularly referring to, like let's say you're working on a project or maybe uh, you want to have all the files that were the PDFs or something that were created in the last week or something like that, you can create these searches and save them in your Windows Explorer. And we're going to look into how to do that now. So for starters, we want to get to the Windows search box. And so there's a couple ways to do that, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the Windows key and then F. And that's going to right away bring up the search box. And over here on the right, you can type in uh, whatever search query you want. So let's say that I want to find all the PDFs that are associated with uh, one of my products called the uh, Paperless Document Organization Guide. And I always name those files with PDO underscore in them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to type name PDO underscore. Oops. And then I'm going to type type PDF. And that's going to bring back, you can see here, there's a big list of PDFs that are associated with that product. So that's great. I can do that anytime I want to find those PDFs. But let's say I want to be able to refer to them on some sort of regular basis. What I can do is I can hit this button up here, Save Search. And so I click that. And it asks me to give it a name. So right now the search, the name it gives it is kind of ugly. So I'm going to call it uh, P Dog PDF, and I'm going to hit save. And it will just take a second. And you can see here now, if I go back to my desktop, you can see here over on the left hand side under favorites, it's now automatically added a favorite for that new search. And when I click that it will bring back, again, any PDF on the computer that has PDO in the name. So it's really handy. So just take a minute to think about the ways that you can use this. Like I said, we can create searches based on date. We can create searches based on type, size. If, you, if you're if you running out of hard drive space, you could find you know files greater than some uh, certain size. Creating these saved searches is super handy. So for more Going Paperless tips, head on over to documentsnap.com. Thanks.